Hello everybody. Welcome to another relationship time. Now this relationship time is going to be a little bit different. Last time I talked about an actual relationship with another human. But this time I'm going to talk about my favorite relationship. And it's with fighting games. Now I'm going to do one on games as a whole. Probably next episode of relationship time. But this time... It's going to be how I fell in love with fighting games. Now, it's a long story. When I was growing up, I had a brother. And, you know, I loved that boy more than God himself. But we didn't really have much to click on. You know, we were kind of two different people. And there was only one thing that brought us together. Fighting games. Not really like, you know, this was before the time where... You know, you got games whenever you want. Like, you get two games a year if you're lucky. So, you know, we had fighting games. We had Mortal Kombat. We had Street Fighter. You know, we had Tekken. Tekken's the best. And we just used to play those all the time. Since, you know, playing against a computer got boring, we played against each other. And this was before the times of, you know, where you can, you know, where you have to be like, tournament level good at a game it's just you hitting buttons you're doing things and when you figure stuff out it gets more fun and that's where me and my brother bonded and uh that never really left i i love fighting games so much because that was the only game i can beat them at for some time like that was the only game i, I couldn't beat them at madden couldn't beat them at 2k it was nba live at the time but um you know I couldn't beat him at any of those, so I had to play fighting games and hope for the best. So I had to get good. And I fell in love with it because it's pretty much you against somebody else. And that's, that's it. It's just you versus somebody else. Best man wins. Guy with the best strategy wins. Guy with the better movement wins. Guy with the better defense wins. It's all of these techniques that go into fighting games that I love so much. And, um, man, pretty much that was the only friend I had for a long time was that game. I had a PS2 back in the day. You know, I didn't, couldn't make many friends at school. So I'd come home, do my homework, hop on the game every night. Do my homework, hop on the game. Do my homework, hop on the game. That's the only thing I had. And, you know, ever since I was young, I knew that not necessarily I can be a tournament player. Like, you know, play play in front of thousands of people and, you know, show, show, show off what I got. But I was pretty sure I can love this game and appreciate the people that are good at this game and appreciate the people that are trying to learn this game because you know when i entered my first tournament when i was 18 i got destroyed at mortal kombat and that was my favorite game i got destroyed but instead of you know that's another thing about fighting games it it it, it shows me who people really are because if you know you quit when you're about to lose at a game, that shows me you don't have any character, or that you, or that you like get upset easy, or something like that. You know, if you stick it out, if you have good defense, that means you're a patient person in real life. That means you wait for your opportunity and then you go at it. If you're an attacker, you know, if all you do is attack, then I know that you're an aggressive person and you like to get stuff done quickly. See. All of these things that transfer into real life really get to me, you know, and that's why I love these games so much because it's just you and him or you and her or, you know, you and your skills. How far can your skills get you? You know, and there's always a chance to learn and I really love that. It's a chance to learn, it's a chance to get better. It's a chance to do things that you've never done before. It's a chance to make things look cool. That's another thing. You know, when my friends are in the room and I pull off a sick combo, 
and everybody's like, oh, oh shit, how'd you do that? Or if I'm with more experienced players, which is my friends now, and I can beat them at a game. If I can beat them at Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat, Tekken, Virtual Fighter, and they're like, man, good game, you really beat me that time. Or if they beat me, and I get to learn something. You know, that taught me a lot about who I was as a person. Just me sitting down, getting ready, being prepared. And when you sit in that chair and that game turns on, it's just you. What you gonna do? Are you gonna clam up, and be defensive, be patient when you know you're not a patient player? Or are you gonna remember everything that you've learned over these years? and take it to the future opponent. And I love that so much, man. It, it means the world to me. But that's it, man. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, this is kind of a shorter episode, but promise me, next time is gonna be about sports. And I love fucking sports games. So I'm gonna see y'all next time. Um, shit, y'all know where to find me. It's Victor fucking Freeze, man. Holla at me.